I don't know if anyone was affected by the volcanic ash cloud, but I had friends all around the world that couldn't get back. They missed weddings and funerals, and they had to put themselves up in hotels that they hadn't budgeted for for weeks on end, and they couldn't get their money back because the airlines were saying, no, we can't pay you because the insurance companies won't pay us because they're saying it's an act of God. What? What isn't an act of God? If you believe in God, that's sort of a definition of him, isn't it? That he does everything. He's... <laughs> He's all powerful and he's everywhere. He invented everything. He was a, w- before he was around, there was nothing. He invented time, sp- everything, okay? So he's across it all. Nothing happens by mistake. No, he's not absent minded. A volcano going off. It's not like him going, oh fuck, I left the oven on. That doesn't. <laughs> and who are these insurance companies that know what is and isn't an act of God? How do they decide? Have they, have they got a hotline to God? They call God up, do they? And go, Ring, ring. Hello? Hello? Um, could I speak to God, please? Speaking. Oh, what? I didn't think you'd answer the phone yourself. What do you want? Um, sorry, that volcanic ash cloud, was that you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was an act of me, all right? <laughs> so I shouldn't pay out. Don't fucking pay in a penny, son, no. <laughs> Oh, jeez. While I've got you here, um, did you make a tree fall on Steve Baxter's car? <laughs> Lot of Steve Baxters. Um, to Acacia Road, Hounslow. It happened on the 3rd of June, 2.15. 3rd of June, 2.15. No, that wasn't me. I was in Africa then, giving AIDS to babies. <laughs> He does everything. 